All right, guys. So we're here at Last Fit. Um, I got a customer here who's letting me use their truck so I can demonstrate something. Uh, these are H13s in this F F250. It's an 06. And we get this a lot where customers uh, call us and let us know like, hey, when I activate my low beam, I get high beam. And when I activate high beam, I get low beam. So they're like reverse. But what it is is really is that the bulb itself was installed, uh, what I would say, upside down. Not literally upside down, but like the chips are not where they're supposed to be. So the one on this side is installed correctly. So low beam will be low beam. You might activate high beam. You activate high beam and you see how it switches to this one so it'll go up and this one goes down so if you install both of them wrong then they'll both be going down when activating high beam and when activating low beam they'll go up so the way to fix this is so twist this off and as you can see this is what I mean this is how it's installed so that top one should be the one on the bottom and the bottom one should be on top so it should be installed like this the the chip on top closest to the screw, to the tip of the actual bulb is your uh, low beam and the one the bottom closest to the the actual stock so going this way uh, is your high beam okay so what happens is that when these are installed these are just placed on so this thing comes off see so what you would do is just flip it there it is it's locked it doesn't fall out no more so now I can install this and make sure that chip, the top one, it's on top at all times, okay? So the one closest to the tip, you want to have that on top. So the cool thing about this is that if you want to make sure double check your work, once you lock it in place, you can actually just take off the bolt. See, it should be like this when it goes in. Okay, it's in. Plug it in. There you go. That's how it should look. Can you activate the high beam? So remember, this is the one we changed. So there you go. Both of them go at the same time. You can go low beam now. There you go. Now it works. That's how it should be, okay? So if you run into this problem, now you know how to fix it. And this will be the same thing for any of our dual beams. If you notice having this problem, it just means it's installed backwards. All our dual beams are pretty much, uh, can be uh, the adapter on it, the, the one that goes into the socket, usually are removable. So just by twisting them off, it should be able to come off. And then you can adjust it to where it has to go. So as soon as you get the, the correct lighting pattern, then you know you're good, okay? So that's for today. And uh, if any questions, feel free to let us know. And we'll answer them, all right? So there you go, 06. Uh, F-250.